guys. This is the design I came up with. And I kind of want to add a little pearl right there because there's a big hole there. And I thought, well, maybe I can add some kind of a gemstone or something. This is a freshwater pearl and I'm going to say it's dyed. I don't know for sure. So I'm going to try to follow this pattern. I think that'll fit okay in there. Once this is oxidized, I'll have to be really careful with that pearl. All right, like that. So I cut myself, I, I wrote down nine inches, but then I thought, well, I'm going to do a, just a really simple bale. I'm going to try it. I don't know if I, I don't know if it'll work. So I cut myself nine and a half inches and I've got about four feet of 26 gauge wire here. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the center. You can use round nose pliers. I'm just using my step bale making pliers because they're here. Now I'm going to make sure that I get the angle right here. And the wire is going to start on the inside of this corner here. Okay, that looks about right. So now what I'm going to do is take my 26 gauge wire and I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to wrap maybe 10 times and see how what that looks like. Okay, that's 10. I want this to be up even with this one, so we're going to go five more. We're going to do a 5 2 weave. So this part's a little fiddly at first because the first piece is already bent. Bend that straight up and now I'm going to bend it forward a little more than 45 degrees. And now I'm going to bend it this way. I'm going to go two wraps on this side. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to continue on with the 5-2 weave. I've wrapped around twice. I've done the 5-2 weave and then instead of coming back out here, came up between just like that. And now I'm ready to add my pearl. I'm going to feed that between those two wires there. Bring that right up. Okay, now that's five. So now what we want to think about is cutting the wire. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to try to snip it right inside there. Uh, we'll save that wire because we might need it later. Now we're going to just give that a pinch. Okay, let's go back to our design. This wire is this wire right here, and I need to make a little spiral right there. I want to get this wire up and around first. I think I'm ready to cut this wire from the point it's two centimeters, which is what, maybe three fourths of an inch? Yeah, or just about three fourths of an inch. I think I'll use this. I put that angle in there so that it'll be easier for me to file. But I don't know, it might be too long yet. Yeah, that's too long. All right, so I'm going to cut off maybe uh, two millimeters. And now that I know that that's okay, I'm going to go ahead and file that. Okay, now I'm going to bring that up. And now we need to pinch that because it's flaring up a little. So we need to bend that down. Okay, so now what I need to do, get this wire woven down to that edge there, and then we're going to secure these two wires together. So I'll continue with my 5-2 weave until I get to that point. My wire broke. Before I finish that part, I'm going to bend this around. I'd rather cut off too little than too much. This has to be pointing down or towards the point of the heart.
That is just about perfect. We need to connect it here. We still got to get the arrow in and I don't know how I'm going to connect that yet. Let's get the arrow figured out. I got one wire wrapped around that heart on the around that arrow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just continue weaving around the out uh, this this wire here to fill in that spot because that will keep that other weaving coiling wrapping whatever we want to call it secure and it won't slide down anymore. So I'm just going to finish that and then we'll figure out what to do down here. I cut another piece of 18 gauge wire and I put a little spiral in it here and then I made another spiral and a twist right there. Actually I wrapped it around just to see if it would work and it does. So now I got to figure out how to put it back in. So we'll secure that there. And you've already seen me do that, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll figure out how, I'll come back and we'll figure out how to do that part. And now I'm going to gently, where are my nylon jaw pliers? I'm going to gently give that a smash. I'm going to oxidize this and come back and show you what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference of this when it's oxidized. Isn't that cool? I'll show you the back. And I'll explain really quick what I did. And I don't, normally I don't dip pearls in liver of sulfur. So what I did was I dipped in up to the edge of the pearl. Then I dipped it this way in order to get everything covered. And then when I took my steel wool, which is double aught, four zeros, and I just put my 
thumbnail over it all the way around and I did the same thing on the back side but isn't that cool I want to sing that song <laughs> shot through the heart and you're to blame darling you keep love a bad name <laughs> thanks for visiting I hope you come back again on next Friday for another wire video Like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the description box for links for Amazon. And if you would use one of those links to per make a purchase from Amazon, it might give me a little commission at no extra charge to you. So thanks again. Love you guys. Bye-bye.